Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or what else you would like me to cover, please put them into the comments. Today I am going to be covering how to upgrade from PHP IPAM 1.6 to version 1.73, which is the most current as of the production of this video. For this video, I will use Git to upgrade the PHP IPAM installation, which is currently at 1.6.1. Now, I suggest before we begin here in your situation that you back up your VM or your system, whatever you have your PHP IPAM installed on, and that once you have completed the backup, make sure to and once you've completed the backup uh, we want to make sure that we update the PHP IPAM uh, server itself so let me bring that up so you should do a DNF watts, and do an update now while that's happening in the background um, I want to pause for a second here and let that finish Okay, now that that has finished, um, I'll do a refresh here, and we should see this is all updated. This is our server. There we go. No. And let me log in to make sure our server is still working. Now this is a test box, so that I'm doing this so as you can see it's just got the default settings there's no real configuration in here there's just the default stuff so to the actual upgrade now please 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 make sure to upgrade let me see if i can zoom in so this is a little bit bigger so the very first thing we want to do is we want to change our directory to where we have installed um, our PHP IPAM, which is in my case var www.html. Then we want to get a status using git, right? So this is currently the origin and I'm on branch 1.6. Now we want to upgrade. So if I do this other command git branch, Right, it shows what branches are currently in here. So I'm on 1.6, master's here, 1.5. So the next thing I want to do is I want to actually fetch all the latest changes and update my local repository. In order to do that, it's get fetch dash dash all. Now, because in order to build this video, I had to kind of start with 1.5 so I'm already kind of here so now that I have everything I want to check out 1.7 and to do that right I'm going to type git checkout 1.7 and it should now set me and track me to 1.7 now if I issue the git branch command again Right, it's showing that I'm on 1.7, and that it's been added to the um, to my options here. Next, I want to do uh, an update to any sub modules um, that I might have in my environment here. So, get sub module update recursive, and so if there had been any changes, that would have downloaded. And then the next piece, I can either do from the functions, I can actually perform the database update from the command line. Or what I can do is this. I can actually just, because I'm logged in, it's going to prompt me to upgrade. Right? And there it is. So, and you can see there's this PHP I, right? So, if I need it, if I need to increase the max execution time from 30 to uh, greater than what is that to 600, uh, 
So to do that, let's see. I'll do it over here real fast. Let's look for this. So we'll make that 600. Oops. I think, I think I made a boo-boo there. And I will hit save instead of trying to type a nano command. <laughs> and what was that over here? Uh, so we'll do a. Get this refreshed. And we'll just upgrade that. And there you go. That was pretty easy. So right now we're on, one, oh, I'm sorry, not 1.73. It's now 1.74. Um, we can see that it's up and running. We can do a verified database. Everything's correct. So that's pretty much it for upgrading from 1.6 to 1.7. And that was, should also work from 1.5. Well, I hope this video made it clearer for you on how to upgrade from PHP IPAM 1.6 to version 1.74. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And as always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.